My name is Paloma Alcazar. I'm a wildlife veterinarian and I'm studying in the Tambopata National Park since 2007 and I'm this time studying the wildlife peccaries. Tambopata is one of the most diverse areas in Peru, so we can see a huge diversity, diversity on palms, diversity on mammals, uh, so it's a very, very important area for Peruvians. We have been studying wildlife peccaries since 2007 in this area and so far we think we have very nice uh, kind of healthy populations of them. Wildly peccaries is an important species for the neotropics, for the entire neotropics. They are not just uh, uh, seed predators, but they are also seed dispersals. They are the main uh, protein source for uh, people, communities who live around this area, and along the whole distribution area. They are the main prey element for jaguars as well but mostly they are very, very important for the ecology of the palms that lives on this kind of forest, you know, tropical forests. The project is based on getting baseline information on their health status. We will put some camera traps on some key elements uh, useful for them, which will be culpas and swallows around this area, which is Tambopata Research Center. We will put those cameras in other places on a gradient from here to Puerto Maldonado. So we will record the frequency of the use of that swallow or the frequency of the use of that culpa. So we will have other information including the composition of the group, at least the part we can see actually, the time they spend on the culpas, how important they are for them. Part of that component what we are doing is collecting some fecal samples and soil samples so we can try to understand how is their health in terms of bacterial, parasites and other elements by non-invasive methods. In this specific area we have at least three groups of peccaries. It can be between 20 animals to 300 animals. What we do is we find one, we start following the group, we walk behind them slowly, just quiet, wait for them until they leave the area and then we start looking for fresh fecal samples so we can analyze them later in the lab. What we'd like to get here is baseline health information of the peccaries, but as well we would like to answer some other ecological questions on them. Uh, next step will be the evaluation of some other environmental elements that can affect pe peccary population, which will include the sampling of ticks, environmental sampling of ticks, that can carry some pathogens that can be shared, for example, with peccaries and other mammals of the community, also other animals, including birds too. And we'll try to reproduce this uh, research in some other areas closer to the population, to Puerto Maldonado, and to the communities or settlements around there, where we are running another part of the project, which includes the sampling of domestic animals in the buffer zone around Tamapata National Park. <laughs>